these other people that work for dairy farms, do you know if you're talking to a soldier? You probably don't, but if you are, you're disrespecting someone who literally defended your country. Now, what I'm saying here is, is that, so when you're fighting and you're, like, um, over to somebody, yelling at them because that they eat meat, you're disrespecting a normal person, right? But do you know if they are a normal person, for one? Tell me if you do. Because if you're just going around town telling people that they are disgusting because that they eat meat, you could possibly be offending, like, disrespecting or something, I don't know. Like, you could even be yelling at a soldier right now, and they could even probably have PTSD because of all this. Which you're being utterly disrespectful to other people. This is why that I say in some tweets and some things or something like that, this is why that I like it better for the both for both vegans and other people that eat meat and vegetables and fruit at the same time to actually get along with them, to rather disrespect each other for who they are. That's why I like it when people are different, though I do yell sometimes about that stuff, like I, like I don't like it when some people are different, but that doesn't mean that you have to tell us that, that you have to tell me or other people that we are stupid and hurtful to other animals because that we like to eat meat. And for one, when we are buying food, the animals are already deceased. They already have been processed and other stuff like that. They've been through a lot of stuff so that we can consume them. But that doesn't mean that we are paying to actually get them hurt. Which you, my friend, are not being very good. And another thing, plants do have protein like 14%, but if you say that you have, that like plants have more protein or something like that, like it has like, it's full of protein and stuff, you're lying. Because it has 14%. I literally looked it up and it said 14%. Look it up if you want to. I stand by my ground. And when I looked into meat, it has more than that. Probably 26 or 20... Or... I think it was 26. 26 grams or something else. And then... Fish even had more protein than just normal meat. Like from a cow or something like that. Fish has more protein. Which means, if you say that eating meat is unhealthy, then you're getting less protein in the plants that you're eating right now. But if you're eating meat, which is fine, then yes. But, also, okay, so how do I explain this? To the people. Oh, I forgot. Something about um, school. So what you are doing? It's not very good if you're trying to hurt. Like if you tell people that they are gross and hurtful to other animals because they want to eat, just let them be. Don't like go around and disturb the peace when they just want to do, when they just want to eat. If they want to eat, then they want to eat. They are allowed to eat what they want. Even if they are from another country, they are allowed to eat what they want. So yes, freedom of speech exists.
But that doesn't mean that you have to, like, tell somebody that they are stupid and disgusting because that they eat meat. That doesn't mean that you would have to disturb the peace in order to get someone to like you. That's exactly what happens with popularity. If you do something to get someone to like you, to me, I'm fine with getting someone to like me. But I don't want them to like me for, like, forever if... Because, like, I don't want to force them to like me forever. If they do, I don't know. I don't know. Um, vegans have been through... Like, they've been going out of their way to disturb the peace of people who are just doing, like, making dairy products for the people who need some dairy, and also going out and then, like, um, hurting, like, not, like, hurting, hurting, but, like, making sure that we actually get some protein in ourselves. But if you're somebody who decides to rather... Tell them that they are stupid, because they would rather eat meat. Then don't just, then just don't do that. You're gonna disrespect a veteran. You're probably even gonna disrespect, like, a past soldier, a sergeant, like, just anyone who was in the army. If you tell that person from the army that they are disgusting and hurtful, because that they eat meat, when you don't know that they are from the army. For one, you are kind of disrespecting from... You're disrespecting somebody who's trying to defend their country. Your country, I mean. You are disrespecting and just being an utter... You're just being super bad. If you like bullying people who don't like to eat vegetables all day, or like, fruits, or, um, or like, substitutes that are like just meat, but not actually meat, then my friend, you can just get out of, get out of the type of place that you are, because I don't care who you are. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you are like. But I'd rather care if you just if you respect people for the way that they are than to rather tell other people that they are disgusting that they and I've already said that a lot of times.
more than women. Well, not more if they want to be, like, not what they want, but like, I don't know, like their mind changes or something like that. And not exactly like picturing it, like, what do I choose? I mean, like, if their mind says that you are not straight anymore, because I found out that you like girls. people are 
afraid of Edward, right? Because he has scissors for hands. Uh, it's because that he was incomplete. But in actual fact, humans itself are incomplete. Because the DNA, like the genes, like the concept for genes and other stuff like that, like just the genetics all around, it's incomplete. Because if it wasn't, We'd all look like each other. Like, I'd have a ponytail and be, like, that cheerleader in school. And, like, just, um, doing other stuff and everything else. And then every football player just looks the same, as well as every cheerleader. Loving father, loving wife, loving kids. It would be the same thing every time. It would be like that with the cycle thing, like, um, like when the parents are just loving and then they have loving kids and stuff like that and they dance around all day, like, of their representation of what a perfect family is, that's what would probably even happen if our genetics were perfect. But it's not perfect. Somehow, it just choose to not be uh, complete. It chose to not be finished. And what's really weird about this all is that why the everyone is the victim here. Not exactly everyone at all, but. Apparently, people out there that have been through, like, they said that, like, vegans told them that they are gross and bad and stuff like that because of how they are. Just go away. Don't even think. Because you don't even know who the person is. This could, prob this could possibly be a soldier. For example. Which I've already sampled this, but still. Um, so you're yelling at a soldier, but you don't even know that is a soldier. He saved the country that you live in for you. And you're yelling at him because that you don't like meat. Yeah, big deal. He doesn't like he doesn't like um being vegan. But he doesn't have to be. But you're yelling at him because that she doesn't want to be vegan, or she. You gotta so disrespectful. Even and even for other meat eaters out there, none of us are any better either, because we've disrespect people like you. But that doesn't mean that you should go on and yell at Another thing is that you don't even know who you're yelling at. This could possibly be a graduate student from college. This could be, like, probably a person that graduated when they were, like, I don't know, 9 or 10 years old. And they could be smarter than you. That's what can happen. Anything could happen. You can meet anyone on the internet that have either graduated from school a long time ago, or they're average, or they're, like, everybody is different in their own way. But what I'm trying to point out here is that everyone is different for who they are. And you shouldn't be yelled at for it, but you don't need to yell at them for it either. You don't need to be a bad person, like, just utterly disrespectful to another because that they don't like what you don't like. That's what I'm trying to say. And when I'm shaking my head, I kind of feel like a... I don't feel very good when I'm shaking my head like that. Like, I'm not feeling sick or anything. Like, I'm looking at myself through the camera, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I look like those people that, that say this, because that, I don't know, something about, like, I'm better than them, and something like that, but I'm no better than anyone else here. I know that I'm not the person.
good commonly like I can be good with feelings. Like of how people would feel or something like that. Like I can see the kindness in people's hearts sometimes. I I say to myself sometimes that I see the kindness in their heart in their heart. Even though when they've probably even done worse things than any person has ever done. But sometimes they just don't have hearts. Because if you bully somebody that doesn't like meat or like has vegetables for 24-7, then they are no better than you either. But still, I see kindness in their hearts, but sometimes they just don't have hearts. They don't even have one. They're like the Grinch, apparently. I just wish that, like, people out there just rather respect people to, like, kind of, like, like that they see that people do different things. I'd rather see people to like that there is a different thing in life than to just say, hey, that's bad. thousands of years, but that doesn't mean that we need to go on about you guys saying that you guys are bad, but we aren't the cause of your responsibility. We aren't the cause of you being vegan. We aren't the cause of you. We aren't the cause, alright? We aren't Okay, let, let me change I'm sorry. We aren't, we choose what we want to be, alright? We choose what we want to be and we are allowed to choose what we want to be. But that doesn't mean that you should go off and tell us that we are mad. That doesn't, that's not going to work. That's not going to work for anyone, because you're just going to be in humiliation of yourself and keep on ranting and ranting and ranting until when a mob comes, because it's happened. This is why that the world isn't so great anymore. This is why that 2020 is probably even the worst year of all time. I've had plenty good years, like back in 2017. It was super great. It was amazing. I got to do stuff. And, and back in 2018, it was even better. Because cause right after the year of school, we actually, like, they used to do a camp. But now they let us go to, like, um, a water park down somewhere. something different, then you are no better than anyone in this life form of a planet. You're no better than anyone else. You're not even better than me. But I'm not better than you either, because I kind of include myself to be equal. But the truth is I'm pretty kind, but I don't want to brag about it, alright? Sorry. I'd rather say that I'm kind, but I'm no better than anyone else here. I don't think that I'm better than anyone else. Because I don't. I don't think that I'm better than anyone else. I'm kind of better of people that, like, hurt people's minds or something like that, kind of. But I do the 
same thing, which means that I'm not better. And what I mean by hurting people's minds, I mean the vegans. I've fought with vegans on Twitter before. And I just realized on one video that you can't change minds on Twitter. Because people on Twitter are like Redditors, except way without more brain cells. Unless that they've had a pretty long history with studying a lot, I don't know. Doing a lot of research on books about all of this other stuff. But to people who say that vegan diet is the best, Look up their protein, and then look up the protein of meat and fish. And if you're yelling at a farmer, think of what that farmer is. Think of who that person really is. But don't get too much into it, because, I don't know. Something could happen, but I don't know what can. But when you're yelling at the person, are you, am I fighting over meat because I really hate people that like meat? Like, am I fighting with a soldier? Is what I meant to say, sorry. Am I fighting with a soldier? Or am I fighting a normal person? Or am I just fighting a really nice guy down the street of your house that will give you cookies for Halloween instead of normal candy? Like homemade cookies, too. And to that, my friend, that could possibly be the truth, but you never know unless it, you tell them. They could possibly even be a veteran. And you yelling at them could possibly be a very bad choice of words. They could be doing things and saying things to them because they like something else in you. Even though when they defend your country, or even a soldier right now, still, you can't just fight on people's levels. You can't get to their level because uh, they don't like something that you don't. Because this may be the internet, but this doesn't have to be like the internet. And, and what I mean by this, it sounds super it sounds super weird that I say that, but what I'm trying to get through here is, is that don't just trust, don't just trust people who you see. Don't trust people if, like, I don't know, if you're really long friends with them, then that's great. You're okay with that. And actually, I have been friends with, like, um, uh, this would sound weird, but I am friends with adults. And what I mean by that is that I'm, I get along more with adults than other children, but I do get along with the younger grade students and the teachers for some reason. I don't know. I'm just different in a way. But also, it's because that the teachers are actually pretty funny at the school that I go to. This one, this one teacher, our science teacher. So we were doing the butter, the peanut butter and jelly thing, like where that you have to, like we use science to identify what a sandwich is. Like how do we make it? How is it made? What do we do? Yeah. So, actually, he did a pretty good job of doing it. <laughs> and, and the funny part is that when he put the, like, he grabbed some peanut butter, then put it um, on the bread, and without cleaning it, which he says that we didn't tell him to. So this one student over here says, like, I know her, but she says, then you put the knife into the jelly, 
And then when he puts it in there, people are outright saying that that's illegal. Because you have to clean the knife off first. Like, I, I think it's because that nobody wants to get peanut butter in their jelly. Like, in their jelly jar or something like that, it's filled with jelly. And then, without cleaning your butter knife, and then, there's peanut butter in it. <sighs> it it's just super funny of what he did. He, he's a comedy. He could possibly be a stand-up. Okay, let me be explain this. I could see him being one of those people that would be on a talk show and doing something that a stand-up comedian would do. Which would be the best thing ever. Also, um, two other teachers, my history teacher and the math teacher that I didn't have since I'm in special ed. Apparently, the history teacher had the best stories. I mean, like, he could make a really good story from the past. And, like, some of them were funny, some of them were great. And, I mean, like, this guy had really, really good stories. And I tell you, like, if you met him, like, he could just tell you a story automatically. Probably. You just have to do conversations a bit, and then he'll tell you. And not to mention, he's really great with everyone else. Like, everybody loves him. <laughs> and it's so, it's funny how that, so back when, um, in, back when gym class, he teach gym class too, he, people would also, I don't know, it's kind of like one of those childhood crushes or something like that, and then these children over here would have, like, a childhood crush for a teacher, because <laughs> of how, like, because of how they look. It's so funny. But it's also kind of quirky in a way for me. Uh, I want to say cute, but... Uh, I don't know how I would feel by saying that. Even though that I did. I don't know. But also, the math teacher. He could be a stand-up comedian automatically. Like, I could see him going on stage and then, like, saying a lot of stories about school it's so it would be like hilarious to watch and funny to see and not to mention this guy is also very famous too um so what i really love about all this is that teachers like if you are a vegan and if you're yelling at somebody you could possibly be yelling, be yelling at the greatest teachers in the world. You could possibly be yelling at the most wholesome person in the world because they'd rather do something else than the other person would. You could be yelling at anyone. But yet you choose not to think because you'd rather care more for an animal, which I think is good. But... It's also a bit bad in a way, like, that sounds weird, yes, but what I mean by bad is that if you care for animals too much, and you look at something happening to an animal, like, something on the road, like, you see a roadkill, you'd be, like, bawling your eyes out and end up crashing your car. And, and I'm not saying that to be mean, but it could possibly happen. But I don't know your mind, so don't tell me anything like that. Don't tell me that, like, oh, so you're saying that I would be bowling my eyes out because I love animals so much. I wouldn't be. But I don't know that you would because I don't know you. I don't know you, and I'd rather not, and if I did know you, then okay, alright, please, chill, you, you really need to chill, and so do we, but mostly you guys, cause you tell us that we are bad, even though that we've done this for centuries, so how is it bad when we've done it? And not to mention, if the world was vegan, there would be, like, cows out in the window looking at me. Like, what are you doing over there? Well, 
even know that you aren't, probably not, probably are, it doesn't matter who you are, just as long as that you are a kind person with a heart of gold. But don't act like me too much, like you're not too much of everything and you're just average on everything, then that's alright. And everyone is allowed to be who they are. But, to anyone, they shouldn't be the way that they want to be. Well, they can. Okay, so what I mean is that they want to be the way that they want to be, that's fine, but they don't need to yell at people for it. They don't need to yell at people to say, hey, do something, we are allowed to do something. But also, not to mention, there needs to be a balance. If nothing is balanced out in this world, if everybody was a meat eater, we could possibly be eating... There would probably even be um, a substitute for animals out there. And after that, if we went vegan, and animals come back, then the world will overpopulate with animals, humans, like, just anything overall. And if that population isn't stable, then we could possibly even become extinct. Even though that animals do overpopulate humans, it doesn't matter. Things can go wrong every time. thing is, you don't need to be hurtful to other people, which I stated a lot, sorry. I just wish that people out there just acted so different from what they are, like they respect us and we respect them. Like I'd rather, if I respect you and you respect me, then that's great. But if I tell you I like me, then don't go off on a rant and telling me that I'm a bad person for eating meat. I'm allowed to eat meat. Because I'd rather choose to. And not to mention I have STDs. Sensory processing disorder. It, it can make you picky. It can make you hate clothes, which I've already matured out of that. But somehow my taste buds didn't. I wish it did, though. It's kind of making me tear up. I, I just wish that there was a better way for SPD to be in me longer than for me to want it to be in. I, I just wish that SPD could just go away automatically. And just stay with um, OCD and ADHD. But still... So I'm going to end this video. Do whatever you want. I don't care. You can like. You can subscribe. You can comment. But do it by your own time. Eh, do it by your own terms. Because I'm not going to force you on that. You choose. Because I'd rather let you choose. Even you can dislike it. I don't, I don't give anything for that. so that my face wouldn't be so dark. <laughs> but anyways, 